this is my Atlas uh, snowshoe. Uh, it's a, sort of a medium size here. And what happened is that this one's fine, right? But the binding on here just kind of rotted, right? You can look at it, it just literally fell apart, which is strange. So one of them literally fell apart and the other one is fine. So I'm replacing uh, uh, the binding here. Now the, the problem with this is that if you want to get it repaired from Atlas, you have to send it to their factory, you have to pay shipping, uh, you have to pay for them to do it. Uh, it's quite expensive. But what I found is that a company in Canada called Bigfoot, uh, here we go, Bigfoot uh, Snowshoes, let's see, uh, so BigfootSnowshoes.com will sell you the bindings. And so I got uh, a set of bindings here, right? This is one pair, and they actually go on this way. And uh, what you'll find is that their spacing, I've got one started here, uh, is exactly the same here, and I just had to drill a hole here. Right? So I'll step you through how I got to this stage. This is the one I'm in the middle of repairing. All right, so what do you need to do? The, what tools and what do you need to, uh, to uh, change the bindings and that? Uh, you need a hacksaw, right? And the hacksaw is to cut. In my case, I couldn't find uh, a flat, uh, very large fl head, uh, one quarter dash 20 uh, bolt like this. This is three quarter inch long, right? So ideally you'd want to find this. Sometimes they call them uh, truss heads, right? I uh, couldn't find any, but I could find these, and these are called toggle bolts, and this is three inches long. So all I did is I cut it down, and I used a hacksaw in a vise. It was very easy to do. So you need six of these. Uh, then what you're going to need is six of these nylon lock washers. These are, they got a nylon insert, circle, so they're lock nuts, sorry, is the proper name. One quarter dash 20. need six of these to match those. Uh, you need at least one regular uh, nut. Uh, that's so when you go and you cut this piece off, you have it screwed up here, and once it's cut, then you can unscrew the nut, and that will clear up the threads. Right. Uh, you'll need, uh, oh, probably, i got to count how many we need, uh, two of these. Uh, these are just regular washers, right? Uh, you need two of these for the heel, and then you need two of these uh, larger washers. These are called fender washers. Other tools you need, of course, is a wrench so you can tighten up the uh, nuts, a screwdriver that matches the head. These ones have a Robertson head on it, a red Robertson, so I got this. Uh, a drill, quarter inch drill, that's to drill out the rivets, and uh, also uh, to drill the heel on the new binding. And over here, a piece of wood just so you have something to spin around and knock all your parts all over the place. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to cut this uh, toggle bolt down. Uh, one of the things I did is I threaded a quarter inch nut on it. Um, so that way when, after I cut it, the threads here are going to be damaged a bit. When I unthread that, that'll fix the threads. I've got it roughly, let's see here, I'm going to cut it about, make it a quarter inch long. Oops, let's see if I got that right here. Quarter inch right to the head, make them all the same length, and you can easily hacksaw them. So I got a hacksaw here, and uh, this stuff hacksaws quite easily. Here we go. This is one handed, it's really awkward. All right, so you can clamp on this part of the threads here because you don't really care. So I've got it uh, cut off. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Right. And then I can just unscrew that nut, and it will be fine. So one of the first things we got to do is get these rivets out, and they're they're uh, aluminum rivets, so it's very easy just to uh, drill them out with a quarter inch drill. So I'll try and do this one hand. It should be interesting. Get the drill going the right direction. Done. Okay, so I flipped it over so we can see the other side. I was drilling from this side, flipped it over, and 
we have these pieces here. They're just kind of hanging on so we can pull them off. And that, here we go. And now the binding comes off. Uh, really important that you do one at a time so that way you have the other one as a reference on it. So now I just have to pull out these parts here, right? They just pull through. And uh, then I have to drill out here. So what I'll do is I'll pull these out, drill it out, and then I'll come back. Okay, now I'm putting it together. Uh, as you can see, I made a mistake already. I forgot the washer here, so it should be a big washer here. Uh, this piece goes like this on the top. Uh, first time I put it together, I had it the other way around. Didn't make any sense. Had to put it back here. That's why you keep uh, the other one. Uh, always have one that's already together, so you can use it as a reference. On the back side, uh, I've got my lock. Let's see which one is that is. That is, yeah, so i got to undo this one. One of the things you'll notice is I'm missing the nice washer. What happened was, is I was drilling out a rivet and I was using this piece of wood and the piece of wood snagged on the drill and then it went like this and hit all my uh, washers and stuff like that, just like a little pinball arm, patow, and it went all over the garage. So someplace in my garage, I've looked a, a couple times now, there's two washers someplace in here and I can't find them. Uh, not too important, I'm just going to use regular washers here. It's not too critical because we're using uh, lock washers here. So i got to take this one off. Uh, when you're putting it together, uh, let's see if we can see the detail here. Let's see if we can get some light. So uh, you want to have this sort of the, the crampon, I guess that's part it's called the crampon. Um, and then we have the two bottom pieces like that and it's sandwiched in together. Right. Uh, you want to keep it loose when you're putting the screws through. Uh, if, that way it makes it easier. If you tighten one up, if there's a, a tension on that. It makes it very difficult for the second screw to be put in. So keep it loose. The pieces you want to keep are from the rivets are these washers, these two washers, these ones, and this one. So uh, what I'm going to do is just get the, these rivets out of here. And that they're just pressed in and the same as this one so i'll try and figure out how to do that okay once both uh, uh screws are routed in then you can tighten them so only tighten these after you have both screws in because there's quite a bit of tension on here let's see if you can see you can see how the uh the binding is bending over here let's see if i can right along here Right, so this is squeezed and it's squeezed on this side too so it puts a lot of tension so if you leave the screws loose get them through then tighten them afterwards and make your life a lot easier now what we have to do is that this binding is made for two holes here so what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole here so what happens now is that these two have positioned the binding and now we can drill a hole through here uh, this is, a, I'm using a quarter inch drill, which is kind of tough to go through this stainless, but once it's through that, it goes through the plastic quite easily. And that. So I'll do that, and then we'll get back to the next stage. All right, I've got the completed binding together. I've got the two screws in the front. They match the holes that come with this binding. I drilled a new hole here. I drilled it from this side, right? And uh, because this binding is expecting to have two holes here, I put one with a very large uh, washer on it to support. I got to tighten that up. You can see it's still loose. That. On this side, I've got my uh, two washers, my lock nuts, and it's all ready to go. Uh, pretty simple. Okay, the reason for the uh, uh, toggle head bolts is that they're very, very flush, right? They don't stick out. So if you got your boot on here, this is mu not much of a uh, a, a sort of a bump compared to the rivets that were in here. If you get a regular screw, it sticks out quite a bit. So this is why I went with these ones here and, and searched around to get nice flat ones. So I don't know if you can see, there's, there's hardly any of a bump. So it should be quite comfortable when your foot is in there. Uh, so this is the binding repaired. Right, so this is with the big foot binding on. It's a quite nice binding. Isn't it? Um, so I put a uh, uh, a 
toggle bolt in here that I've shortened to a three quarter inch. This is called a fender washer, nice big washer here. This mine is expecting two, so I want a lot of support here. I've got two more fender washers. They're both three quarter inch long, all three of them. And then I got the original uh, washers that came with the Atlas. And on the bottom, I've got the uh, Atlas washers again. I put another washer here, just a regular, these are all quarter inch by 20. And then I put some nylon lock nuts on here, right, so that they won't come undone. Doesn't matter if these stick out, that's just going to give you more tr uh, traction in that. And then we have one repaired snowshoe, easy to do. And here we have two upgraded uh, Atlas snowshoes. Um, you can see they have left and right bindings, so that would be your right foot, this would be your left foot, and uh, we have our heels and everything. Looks like it's all ready to go.